Today's video is sponsored by Aura, but more on that in just a bit. Good afternoon from the Universal Orlando parking garage. Today we are headed in because Jen hasn't been here in a while. Well, today's the last day for Mardi Gras, so I wanted to try some of the Mardi Gras food before the festival ends. Yeah. We also wanted to check out There's some of our- There's a cone over here. There's a what? There's, There's a, a cone. cone. That's a right. Cone. What's a cone? So hey. we, we have Jackson with us today. Okay. And we wanted to ride some rides with Jackson. He's a little bit taller now, so we wanted to see what he can ride, if any, if he can ride any new rides. Yeah. But we also wanted to take some photos at some of our favorite photo spots around Universal Studios. Yeah, it's an exciting day. So, let's head inside. We just want to take one last look at the bead tree. Tonight will be the last night that they're giving out beads during the parade. Wow, look down there. Yeah, I know, it's wild, right? Oh look, people made it over to that other tree over there too. They came from the parade. They throw the necklaces out during the parade and then people come over here and they say, ha! And they throw them into the bead tree is what we call it. Just getting into City Walk and the sign is still down. I wonder if they are refurbishing it or if they have taken it down permanently. So somebody tweeted, and I don't know how true this is, but somebody tweeted that they were gonna leave it down because it was causing too much of like a traffic jam. Oh. Because people would stop and take pictures. I don't know if that's true, but that's what somebody said. I, there's a lot of space here. That would be a very large traffic jam. Yeah. We were talking about our favorite picture spots, and of course an iconic picture here at Universal Studios is in front of the Universal Globe, and a lot of people will line up on this bridge to take it, but I have a better spot. There's two platforms, or three areas really over here, where you can take a photo, and it's lined up perfectly, and you get the arches in the background and everything. We're gonna go take a photo back there right now. So just up from where you're coming off of the water taxis. And look at that, it's lined up perfectly with the Universal Ball and the arches. I think we got a pretty good one over there and we'll put that photo in right now. Camera noise. Buddy, that picture of you was perfect. We are for sure gonna be adding that to our Aura frame. So thank you to today's sponsor, Aura Frames. Aura Smart Frames are digital picture frames that allow you to share photo and videos to the smart frame from anywhere in the world in real time using the Aura app. The Aura app sends the photo directly to the Aura frame in your friends and family's home or even your own home. And so with Mother's Day right around the corner, we're gonna be giving one of these frames to Tim's mom for Mother's Day so that she can be a part of all of our adventures even when she can't be there physically. So this will be just, we thought would be a really cool way for her to stay in touch with like everything that Jackson's doing, everything that we're doing by just sending these photos and videos directly to this digital frame displayed right in her house. And the good news is that the packaging is so nice that we don't even have to wrap it. Yeah. So that definitely makes gift giving even easier. It just looks really nice straight out of the package. We actually opened it up already. We preset it up. We added some photos and videos to it. And all that she has to do is open it up, take it out, plug it in and connect it to her Wi-Fi, and then it's ready to go. The pictures will just start displaying. Like she'll see pictures of Jackson within two minutes of taking it out of the box. But I don't think the Aura frame is just a great Mother's Day gift. I think it could be a really cool birthday gift, an anniversary gift, or just a fun holiday gift too. Also, the Aura frame has been on Oprah's favorite things list for three years running, and it's Wirecutter's pick for the number one digital picture frame. Each Aura frame comes with unlimited storage. I could literally upload 10,000 photos of Jackson and it wouldn't run out of space. And there's no subscription fees, there's no hidden fees. You just have the app and you upload the photos to the frame. I will also say that I was blown away by the quality of the image on this frame. Like it looks like an actual photo. So if you're looking for a great Mother's Day gift or birthday gift or anniversary gift or any day that you're wanting to celebrate, take a look at the link in the description down below, check out Aura Frames, and you can use the code TRACKER at checkout. That's T-R-A-C-K-E-R. -E and you could save up to $40 on your order. So be sure to check it out. And thank you to Aura Frames for sponsoring this video. And now back to today's adventure. All right, here we go, headed in for the very last day of Mardi Gras. April 24th, that's today. Also, we should mention that Jackson has been asking to ride another roller coaster, so I think he's tall enough for Woody's Nuthouse coaster over here. We're gonna go check it out, see, we'll measure him. Oh, there's a thing over here that says, how tall are you? Oh, let's we'll go try. check it right now. All right, let's see, there's a sign here that says, how tall are you? And it tells what attractions you can ride. So turn around and stand against that star, buddy. Oh, he can definitely ride Woody's Nuthouse coaster. Look up, buddy, look up, look at that. How tall are you now? You're like you're five foot two. <laughs> Holy cow. Here's something that's interesting is he's not tall enough to ride Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, but he can ride it in a stationary seat. Yeah, so maybe we'll see what the wait time is for Despicable Me. Yeah, so it is a Sunday, so I would imagine it's gonna be a busy day. 
First stop I want to stop over here is the Universal Studios store though because I think they have some new Jurassic World shirts. Oh yeah, check this out. All kinds of new Jurassic World stuff. This is cool. Is this like a waste pack? Yeah. I like that a lot. $32. The tank top here? $33. Oh, this is like a Loungefly backpack, but it's not. It's like off-brand. How much is it? There's passion, live dinosaur inside here. Inside that backpack? $55. You can save a cool penny by not getting Loungefly brand. I really like this one. Oh yeah, that's cool. And this one is $40. You could also get some like little dinosaur figurines. I don't know what you're supposed to like bring it up and down, I guess. Oh, Jackson has picked out something. What is it? Ooh. They're dinosaur minis. Oh, it's like a, a transport for live dinosaurs. Wow. Oh, neat. You get four of them in one person, but the person is a mystery. Oh. I'm just straight up transporting a Carnotaurus. My goodness. This is interesting. It's a Jurassic Park Funko Pop bag. And the little doors open up to see in. A T-Rex and the Explorer. That's kind of really neat, actually. This one is $82. It's a little mini backpack. Then that is a pop vinyl, like the pop, pop figurines. Oh, and it's, it's magnetic. Oh. I like it. It's cool, and you can get a wallet that matches. Does that do anything? That one is a dinosaur, buddy. Whoa. How much is that one? This one is 55 bucks. Okay. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, I don't think we're going to be riding Despicable Me Minion Mayhem today because it is a 60 minute wait. It's going to be a busy day today for sure. Just passing by Shrek 4D, we still have no announcement as to what this is going to be. We can't see any progress yet. So Jackson saw... Oh, what do you want to do, Jackson? Do you want to check on it? See if you're tall enough to ride it? All right, I don't think you are, but we'll go check. We're going to just... We'll let him check his height. And then we'll... So he'll get excited for when he is tall enough to ride Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. But I think he's just... A, he needs to grow a little bit more. Like another foot or so. But we'll check. <laughs> we'll check. Oh, okay. So over here next to the test seats, we've got a height check here. Look at how tall that is. I Buddy, don't think you're tall I don't think so. You've got a way, you got like a whole nother Jackson to grow before you can ride this one, buddy. You gotta eat your vegetables. Do you wanna try the test seat? You wanna try the seat, buddy? All right, let's see. Look at you, buddy. You did it! There's some more street performers out here, like some streetmosphere with some garbage cans in their coveralls. I just blend into the, the furniture right now. I like it. That's okay, and it's advantageous for our job. So Absolutely. What is your job? What do you do? Oh. Oh. So glad you asked. Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Mahoney. This is my partner, Christy. Hello. Oh. Uh, we're uh, representatives of City Force. That's right. Okay. Oh. We have... streets are filled with dirt. Well, and the dirt is filled with dirt. Yeah. Okay. But somebody's got to watch it. That's right. And that's where we come in. Well, you guys watch the dirt. Well, we maintain police and uh, maintain again the dirt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got to maintain a certain level of dirt. Well, yeah. Gets too high. Yeah. Gets too low. We call in you guys. See, you get it. Yeah. Peaceful coexistence. That's right. all we're trying to do. We all got one mother here, and that's Mother Earth. And you gotta have the dirt, or else you ain't got nothing to stand on. That's true. That's true. You gotta start from the ground up. So that is, this guy is full of puns. Right. I love it. So that that is a new entertainment offering that you might find out here in Music Plaza or around this area. They are the, what did they say they were? They were the City Force crew. I love it. I love that sort of like street atmosphere characters. They're amazing. Street atmosphere characters are my favorite part of theme parks. So we are passing by some of the Mardi Gras booths, but we are going to head back here towards the facade of the New York Public Library because this is another one of our favorite iconic photo spots here at Universal Studios. So although Jackson really wanted to ride Rip Ride Rocket, like we said, he's still not quite tall enough, but he wants to see it. So we're going to take a picture over here. Where it zooms yeah. around. I think that'll be a really cool picture. I think so too. I love it. So the facade of the New York Public Library is kind of right over here, but I wanted to point out that today is the last day that you can go into the Mardi Gras Tribute Store because today is the last day of Mardi Gras. All right, we're gonna take a photo just underneath this as it zooms by. So this is definitely one of our favorite iconic photo spots because not only do you get a view of the New York Public Library, but you also get Rip Ride Rocket flying past. And this is such an, a unique location too because this is just a facade, this is just a painting. So it's just like you would see in the movies. It's of the New York Public Library. Also, you might be lucky enough to happen upon a pre-set up photo spot like this step and repeat here that says Universal Studios Florida. 
That way, if you happen to miss the one on the way in because the sign's not there through City Walk, you can take a photo here. <laughs> I feel like a movie star. Oh yeah, you look like a movie star. <laughs> no. This isn't really an iconic photo spot that we stop at every time, but I do like Sting Alley, that's the name of this alley right here, which is kind of right across from the Palace Arcade and the Mummy gift shop over here. Because it looks like a movie set. You look like you're in a back alley in New York somewhere. Be perfect for Instagram shots. Oh, snap! Get him, Myrtle Beach! Look out. You got it. All right, hey, go! That's a sugar fruit spring thing. So we're headed over to what might be the most iconic photo spot in all of Universal Studios. Bold statement. I think it is. You don't okay. think so? Even more iconic than the globe? Oh, it might be like number two. Number two, maybe. <laughs> number two. So as we get into San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf, right before heading into London, the London waterfront, this is actually the exit to Fast and Furious. Over here, there's a little known bar, or like a less weight bar here called Shea Alcatraz, but right behind it, what do we have? What is that? A big shark. A big it shark. A big shark. Do you know what his name is, Jackson? His name is Bruce. Can you say Bruce? So I would say, in my personal opinion, this is definitely one of the top iconic photo spots in all of the park. It's pretty massive. Oh my goodness. Are you holding it? Are you holding on to the shark? Whoa. Jackson, you weren't even afraid of that shark. You're so brave. That is one big shark. Look at this shark. Pat him on top of his head. Whoa. <laughs> what do you think? All right, buddy. That picture with you and Bruce was perfect. But also, depending on the season, like right now, there's Mardi Gras going on. So there is a very large NOLA photo op here. I have to admit, these are the dirtiest tables I've ever seen in any theme park. It's wild. We checked like four of them and they're all like this. But we stopped off over here at this food booth, this like steampunky food booth, which is a Mardi Gras food booth, which has the ube waffle, which is what Jen is trying. Speaking oh. of photogenic things, mm. this is a very photogenic dessert. You can take a photo of this. This is definitely a food that is picture worthy. Oh yeah. For sure. I forgot oh, that it had dripping. Pop Rocks on it. Oh, sorry, buddy. Dripping. I forgot that it had Pop Rocks on it, though. Oh, yeah. What did you think of the Pop Rocks, buddy? You want to try the bubble waffle? Here, bud. Try the waffle. So I'm going to try a little bite. It's like little little, little bite-sized pieces you can rip off. Nice. It doesn't really taste like anything. But it's still nice and warm. Oh, that's wow, good because really it just like came them. off the waffle iron. This ice cream is so good. Oh, good. Yeah. I think it's sweet potato. Yeah, is that what well, it's ube, is? ube is a potato. Okay, it just—it's so nice. It tastes kind of vanilla. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, but let's walk and eat. And then okay. Jen got some crab beignets. I'm gonna try those as we're walking because they're still a little bit warm. Okay. Here, bud, can you have a bite? All of the ice cream has melted and is now just pouring out of the bottom. So I just took the the waffle out and I'm just it's soaked in ice cream. I think that might make it better. Yeah, he wants to ride the um, Kang and Krotos ride, but I think we're gonna head over to Woody's Nuthouse coaster because that's oh. what he, that's what he was asking for. I was eating it in reverse, and I just made it to the Pop, pop Rocks. Oh yeah, yeah, the Pop Rocks were pop. surprising. I didn't know it was in there. Mm -hmm. So you've been we've been walking. You've been trying the crab beignets. They are really good. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that I only got to eat these once. Oh dang. Yeah. So they're dusted in brown sugar and like Old Bay. Oh. And they're just a, um, here, I'll, I'll break it open for you so you can see it. So they're just like, like a nice, pillowy, really crunchy beignet with crab. Um, and I think just like a mayonnaise base inside. The little bit of scallion and, and I think there's maybe... Uh, <laughs> there's more, I think, Old Bay in there too. Oh, that's nice. These are so good. Oh, wow. Nice. I know you don't like seafood, but you want to try it? No. As we were passing through Springfield, Jackson saw some of the carnival games and was like, I have to do them. And with our annual pass, it was a pretty good deal. We got six. Okay, we got six plays 
for $25. So now, you gotta scoop up a fishy. You gotta scoop it up. You almost got one. Oh, Try again, buddy. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh oh oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see what it is. Let's see how much your fish weighs. Okay, come over here, Jackson. Look up there. Look at the scale. Look at the scale. It's gonna have some numbers on it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Whoa, you get a medium. Oh, would you like? You want a donut? Get a donut. Go get a donut. Nice work, buddy. Oh my goodness. Do you want to do the, the throwing one now too? So now we're waiting for the ball toss. And the area that we're in is right here in Springfield, just across from the Simpsons ride. And we've done an entire video on all of these where we played all of these carnival games. We'll put a link to that in the description down below. Now it's your turn to do the ball toss, okay? Good job. Oh, 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 oh. Keep trying, keep trying. Throw it in again, buddy. I love your enthusiasm. Go for it. Oh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh no, that's okay, buddy. Good job, yeah, good job. See if you can make it in a hole, buddy. Throw it. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, you made it in a hole. Good job, buddy. Oh, that was a, that was a good job. Nice try, buddy. Good job. You want a football. Yeah, you can blow it up with a football. Thank you, bud. Say thank you. So as we are here in Springfield, I wanted to show you there are some iconic photo spots like Krusty right behind me. So Jackson loves the carnival games back there, love doing them. So if you're here and you have a little one and you're looking for something to do, definitely check out the Springfield area and the carnival games. I did want to mention though that they are an extra cost. So be prepared for that. For us as annual pass holders, for $25, we only get six plays on a card. Ray and June from Diz Live of Ours out here live streaming next to a DeLorean, another great photo spot here in the park. And from what I've heard, these are both screen used props. I think so, at least. That's, that's what I thought it was. This is the only spot that you can see a Jules Verne train from Back to the Future 3. All right, we're headed back into Kid Zone, seeing if we can get on a roller coaster. There's also a water slide back here that we might try to do. If we get a little wet, we get a little wet. Well, it looks like the water slide is not open, so I don't think we're gonna be doing that today because it is back here in Fievel's Playland. And that doesn't seem to be open right now. Ooh, another thing that Universal does is they have photo ops for movies that are coming out. So take, for instance, Bad Guys. Yeah, it's actually already out now. Came out a few days ago. And it's a photo spot for you to take a photo here. Overheard a team member say that they are closed until further notice, which I don't know what that means. Maybe just at some point they will reopen again or maybe they won't. But this is the bottom of the water slide that I was talking about. And it's you're actually on a raft, so you might not actually get wet. But I wonder if Jackson can even ride that. It's a pretty big water slide, but it is in a kid's play area. So this is where they're headed to. They're headed to Woody's Nuthouse Coaster. See what the wait time is. And this is something that we can't film on, so I think I'm gonna stay on the ground and film them while they ride it. All right. Look at that, you're tall enough. Okay, so are you gonna hang out here? Yeah, I'll be down here. The 30 minute wait. We're going on the ride. We're headed through the line. Are you excited? Oh, well, there it goes. Got some woodpecker graffiti. It says Nodhead was here. It says Splint was here first. Was not, signed Nodhead. Was two, signed Splinter. And then it says, oh yeah? Yeah, and then they get into a fight. All right, bud, you're gonna ride the roller coaster. And then I'm gonna go down and film you guys on the roller coaster, okay? Oh, so we're gonna be the last row. Hey, you guys are in the last row. Oh. You guys are gonna get the whips. Uh-oh. He tried to follow me. All right, we're gonna go find you guys. All right, here they go. There's mommy right there. I think they're probably gonna cope. Oh, it's all blurry. Oh, there goes Jackson. Oh, man. That was exciting. I had to run over and try to catch them as they made it around the roller coaster. And there they are going back to the station. What was it? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ask and see if the water slide is open. But did you like the roller coaster? You did. Me too. What did you think, Jackson? Did you have fun? <laughs> Was it so much fun? He loved it. Yeah? yeah he was I like, think it's a mommy thing. I think he does like to ride them with me. Yeah. I, like, I really am like 
I got him pretty secure, but he was having a blast. Oh, that's so he good. Goes, as soon as it as soon as it stopped, he goes, I like it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's go ask, ask him about the, the slide, slide, okay? Yeah. Well, there it was. That was the Jackson's fifth roller coaster. So we have Daddy Pig, we got Barnstormer, we got Gadgets. We did, he did a Grover one time at SeaWorld that didn't get filmed. Uh, and then now, Woody's Nuthouse Coaster. All right, I think that's it for us from Universal Studios. And on our way out, we're gonna head into the Five and Dime to take a picture with the Universal Classic Monsters. I think Jackson's gonna love it. Let's get our picture with some monsters. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And I think Tim showed this in an earlier video, but they do have some of the Halloween Horror Nights merch in here, the Never Go Alone merch. Get t-shirts and Christmas ornaments. I kind of, I don't know, the Christmas ornament thing is a little weird to me, but get the t-shirts. And now we're headed up to the front of the park. That was a great day. I had so much fun. Jackson loved riding the roller coaster. That was like such a fun thing for me to get to do with him. And we got so many awesome pictures. Another thing that I really loved about today was trying that bubble waffle, the Ube bubble waffle. That was really good. And I'm kind of sad that it's gone after today. After today, you cannot get it any longer. So maybe there might be another version of it. They oh yeah, the maybe they bought the waffle iron. Maybe they will make another version of it because it, it was really delicious. I also really love the crab beignets. Those were so good. They were better than I thought they were going to be. So today was an all around win. They are. They all are. They haven't bloomed yet, so they're close still. Did so, you have Did you have fun today? It is it's close, all close yeah. buddy. So, like I said though, this was a really great day. I can't open those flowers. You have the sun has to open the flowers, buddy. Yeah, it needs to rain and there needs to be sun. <laughs> but today was so much fun. I love riding new rides with him. Yeah. It was really like just cool to see how excited he was. It's it's also interesting to me how much he likes riding roller coasters with you. Huh? Yeah, I think it's just I don't know. I think it's just like a mommy thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, but I had a really great time. Did you have fun today, buddy? Uh huh. He said, yeah. uh huh. Um, I can't wait to put all of our new pictures on our Aura frame when we yeah. get home. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic day. It was. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Hey, we're Brent and Michelle from Badasta, Georgia. 